In this fourth example, we have another hidden quadratic that looks subtly different to the previous three. Well, not subtly different, but it does look different because now we don't have 2 to the x or 3 to the x or 5 to the x. We've actually got x to the 2 thirds and x to the 1 third, okay? But it is still a hidden quadratic, as we will see. Because x to the 2 thirds can be written as x to the 1 third squared. Okay, so you might now have tweaked where this is going. Because now I can make a substitution where y is x to the 1 third. So I have y squared plus 3y minus 4 is 0. This can be factorised, so that's y plus 4, y minus 1. And then if I put the x to the third back in, I have x to the third plus 4 times x to the 1 third minus 1 is 0. So that means that either this bracket is 0, in which case x to the 1 third plus 4 is 0, or this bracket is 0, not right, or x to the 1 third minus 1 is 0. Now if you add 1 to both sides on this side, we get x to the 1 third is 1, or on this side, take 4 from both sides, x to the 1 third is minus 4. And now, and now, in order to solve this equation, to eliminate the 1 third, I'm going to have to cube the left hand side, so I'm going to have to cube the right hand side of the equation as well. So x is equal to the cube of minus 4, which is minus 64. And then on this side, I cube both sides, and I get x is equal to 1. So x is equal to 1, or minus 64, are the two solutions, two possible solutions, for the original problem.